What's up, YouTube? This is the Jam Assassin. Before we get started, do me a favor, gently tap that like button and subscribe for more interesting content. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Disney Infinity 2.0 Toy Box Starter Pack. It's going to be cheaper than the regular Marvel Edition Starter Pack. Um, if you buy, buy the Marvel one, you do not have to buy this pack because the characters that are coming with this are you can buy separately, so you don't have to pay like for $75 and then whatever this price is going to be, which is probably like 50 or 60. So if you this is this pack is only for people who don't like Marvel and they want Disney Infinity 2.0, so they would buy this pack. Um, for this pack, there this is pretty much uh, this video I'm going to be talking about the Disney Originals. Now the Disney Originals are all of the Disney Infinity characters from the first game, and because now they can bring over on this uh, game Disney Infinity 2.0, and also they're going to have Disney Originals and Marvel. So now Disney is releasing Disney Infinity characters for Marvel, which are like superheroes, and they're releasing the originals, which are like Disney ca and Pixar characters that they make. So the Disney characters that are not going to have any play sets for this, but they're going to be there, are going to be when you Merida and Stitch. If Stitch is like one of the best Disney characters they've ever made. I'm glad they're bringing him. Merida is a Disney princess from Pixar. Her main weapon is archery, so and she's a very good archer. So that's probably gonna be her weapon. I know Stitch. He has a super move where he takes out two of his arms, so he has four arms, and he has alien blasters, and he starts shooting them everywhere. But his other main weapon is he has really good strength, so he's good at melee, and he's also his using two hands and shooting his alien blasters. So that is very useful. From the new movie um, about the I don't forget the name of it, but it's a new Disney movie about like the superhero and his like owner. And like this white fluffy guy. I honestly don't really see, seem too excited about it. But it's supposed to look really good. They're both there. Heroy and Bema. It's um, the superhero, the white guy, and his best friend, Master, or whatever you want to call it. He's also, you can use them. And in the like trailer, they're on top of each other. So supposedly, if you have both of them, maybe you can ride or someone. Or like, you know how you can pick up your characters? I guess it's the big superhero guy. If he picks up the um, little boy, he can actually go on his shoulder, so that's pretty cool. Um, they also have Maleficent, which is Sleeping Beauty's enemy, Donald Duck, which is really cool, they're finally bringing Donald Duck in, and a new Sorcerer's Mickey. It's called the Crystal Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, and it's coming on December 5th. Now this is the third wave of Disney Infinity 2.0 characters. Also Jasmine will be coming on wave 3. But they're for some reason having Aladdin come on wave two. So I don't see why they would do that, but I don't know. It, it's just messed up. They also have Tinkerbell coming, and so far that's it. Um, they also have a lot of new power discs. I'm going to be talking about the power discs in another video, which will probably be also published today. That's going to be my next video, talking about all the new, like, r cool, super, like, power discs. For Disney Infinity 1, I really never bought any power discs. My brother got some I used for them, but they weren't really that good. Like, they were vehicles, skins, and shit. Now, it's actually really cool what they have. I'll be explaining that in a different video, though. Um, that's pretty much it for the characters-wise. But um, everything from the first one can go to the second one. If you have a toy set, you can if you bring it over, you can't play the Adventures, which I'm very mad about. I wish they added that so I wouldn't have to pay for the first one for the Xbox One, because I don't have it actually for the Xbox One. I only have it for the 360. But you can actually get them for um, like anything you unlock. So if I beat Incredibles on the 360, so if I bring that piece and put it on the portal, it will bring everything I've unlocked from the incredible. So I'll get my invisible thing, I'll get the helicopter and all that fun stuff. Um, for toy box mode, you can now take toy boxes from Disney Infinity 1 to 2 very easily. There's doors, which if you want to make multi-levels for people to play, you can make a map and put a door. So after they get to the end of the map, they go to the door and they go to a completely different map. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, they have new builder characters who you place them and they start building cities for you. So like there's one where you can automatically build like tree houses and castles. But then there's other ones will actually build cities. They'll run around building cities for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, they have s different sparks. Purple sparks and orange sparks. Orange are for XP and purple are for special moves. So you can use your special moves. Um, the skill trees, 2.0 has a lot more skill trees. It's not like Skylanders where they'll run out. Like you only can go down one branch, you can go down all branches. But if you're using a Disney Infinity 1, they only have some spots on the skill tree. And now they have KO'd like Skylanders where if they die, you have to rest for a little while, you have to use another character. This is the German Assassin, I'm out.